Hello everyone, it is Nintendo Capri Sun, and welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I've heard some people say Ocarina, I'm not sure if it's that or the other, but I, I always said Ocarina, so that's what I'm going to say. And if that's annoying to anybody, just let me know and I might change it up, I don't know. It's all about you guys here. So this is The Legend of Zelda, oh man, what an epic game, let me tell you. I just can't wait to do this. Oh man. Um, I haven't played it that much, probably five or six times in my life. Maybe more than that. I don't know. I'm trying to remember. So this game was out just as, like, when this game came out, it was right around the time that my mom and my stepdad at that point, who was, like, basically, um, not really physically abusive, but emotionally, like, really bad. The, the relationship was getting so volatile that she just had to leave, and I ended up having to move in with my dad, me and my sister did. And so, um, so we had to move all the way from Georgia to Wisconsin, and we practically didn't know it was going to happen until, you know, like a few days before we moved. So it was like, oh my god, I had to go tell my job, like, oh my god, I can't leave, I can't... You know, and this, the crazy thing is, it happened like six months before then, we thought we were going to have to leave, and then it turned out we didn't, so... Anyway, that's a long story, but, but that was why I couldn't play this game right when it came out, so it's like... I have some weird memories associated with this game, I guess is what I'm really trying to say. Okay, spoilers! We're going to get out of this uh, opening and get the game started here, shall we? File 1. What am I going to call myself? I could call myself Link, but I'm just going to go ahead and... Oops, CN? No, I'm not CNN. Can I use, like, the... No, I can't. Okay. I was going to see if I could use the little pointy thing. Yeah, we'll call ourselves Caprice on here. Yep. Yes. I'm not doing a three hard run or any of that crap. I'm just going to do a normal run and see what happens. So this is the introduction. The Guardian Spirit. The Deku Tree. Also known as the Dick Tree. Okay. I don't know how much I'm going to be using that joke, but... <laughs> and so he takes care of the children here in the Kokiri Forest. It's a really beautiful place. In fact, you'll see, like... Just everything in this game is beautiful. Uh, when Super Mario 64 came out, that was beautiful too. There were some beautiful worlds in that, but... It really wasn't until this game that I think they truly... Like, utilized the Nintendo 64 to its fullest potential. Because the graphics on this, just everything is so detailed. And... Completely... It's, it's, it's stunning just to look at it now. Even... It's just everything is so epic about it. Whoa! Hello, Ganon! What? Oh, yeah. It's all a bit shocking at first, you know, because you're being thrust into all this craziness that's going on. It's like, what just happened there? And it'll all make sense later, trust me. And there's Navi. Um. Ugh. I don't know. She she is annoying. I'm, I'll grant you that. I don't know if I think that she's annoying as most people do, but she is annoying. And so the Deku Tree's telling her, you know, things are getting crappy around here. We're going to have to get a hero to go stop it, and you're going to be the one to go tell him about it. Even my power is as nothing. The writing in this game is also extremely poetic in a way that you don't usually see in video games. Um the youth whose destiny it is, you know, normally he would say something like, well, there's a hero, and I want you to go find him, because he's going to save the world, and he's awesome. Or, well, no, they wouldn't be that blase, I guess, in a normal game. See, I can never tell what we're looking at here. I know we're looking at the fairy, but what, what part of the tree are we looking at? Like the mustache there, or is that the eyes? I don't know. So we get a little Navi-eye view here as she flies out to the village to find our hero. Who just so happens to be in this village of all places. I love how she flies between my doll's legs there. Yes, that's what I'm calling him. Yeah, I'm gonna call him my doll. Because that's pretty much what he is. He's a pain in the butt, too. See, everybody around here's got fairies, but there's one boy who doesn't have a fairy, and she's trying to find him. And she looks around, sees the house, nods yes, flies for it. Oh, man, that's gotta hurt. Ugh, try it again. I mean, did you have to fly through the fence? You could have just flown over it. Well, Navi is pretty much invincible through the course of the game. Nothing 
can hurt her. She's just like a... Almost like a cursor in the game, for lack of a better word. Oh no, somebody's trying to call. The Great Deku Tree wants to talk to me. I don't want to talk to the Great Deku Tree. I'm having a good dream here. No, actually, I wasn't having a good dream. Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? Hey, just because you have a hard time waking up in the morning doesn't make you lazy. You know? Shoot, I don't think I'm... Well, I don't know. I am pretty lazy. Link's like, hey there. You finally woke up. And the great Deku Tree wants to see you because you're the big hero, so... What do you say we get going? I can't really skip this dialogue. Any dialogue that I can skip, I will. Or, well, not all the dialogue, but the stuff like with NPCs telling you, like, tutorials and shit. I'll try to skip most of that. Oops. Oh, I missed something in the house there. So we step outside and look how epic it all is. It always, like, took me a really hard... It took me a really long time to learn my way around this village. And it's really simple. I know my way around it now, but I just remember it being really tough before. Anyway, that's Saria, your friend. A fairy? Yes, I got a fairy now, ain't I the pimp? I'm the pimp daddy. So, baby, let's uh, go out of the movies Friday night now. Whatever. Yes, it is quite an honor to talk to the Deku Tree, the Dick Tree. Okay, well, we're gonna go see the tree, but the problem is we can't quite do that yet because Mr. Midol is blocking the entrance, and for whatever reason, I don't know if it's just that he's self-appointed, but he's not gonna let you buy until you have a sword and a shield equipped. And we don't have either of those two things right now. So I'm gonna go for the sword first because you can get that fairly easily. Slip here through this garden. I believe you can actually... Oh, man, I didn't even think about trying to figure out what buttons are what. Anyway, you can go through here. I'm gonna have to figure... I think the C stick is actually the C buttons. And if that's the case, that's gonna take some getting used to, but we'll figure it out as we go along. There might be a little slip up here and there. There's a big boulder rolling around here somewhere, so... There's a rupee there. How about that? I think it's rolling the opposite of the way I'm going right now. Yep, there it is. But if you let it hit you, it'll just roll right past, and it's not any huge damage. You'll get that repaired in no time. So, open the treasure! Open sesame! All this time, the sword's been right there, you know? Like, I'm surprised nobody snuck in there and grabbed it, just went and had some fun with it or something. Of course, who's to say they didn't grab it, go out and have some fun with it, and then put it back? I don't know. Okay, so let's get out of here. Well, you can actually, you know, swing around and... Let's see. Which button is the sword button here? Oh, dear me. I'm not that stupid. Oh, I have—I don't have my sword equipped. What the hell am I doing? Okay, here we go. Go into your subscreen menu and you can actually, like, move around. Here's your heart containers and all the things you're going to be picking up later in the game. And your songs are right here. But you know all that already, so let's equip it. Would you like to save? Not yet. Okay, so you roll like this, and I assume the sword is Y. Hey, don't get your ass kicked by the boulder. Here we go. Now we're talking. See, I got all that life back in no time. So let's crawl back through the entrance, and what are we up to? 950, huh? I'm going to have to keep an eye on that, because normally when I'm recording, I'm doing it off my computer screen. So I have the timer right there, the timer for my record pad, which is how I record my voice. And I have it right there, so I don't have to go too far out of my way with my eyes to look at it and see like what it is. Whoa. Don't ignore any rupees like I'm doing in Link's Awakening. Because you need every last one of them. I kind of ignore the rupees in Link's Awakening because it's like I need 200 of them and most of the enemies only drop one at a time. So I was more interested in finding like the 50s and the 20s. And you get five right here. I believe you can get one right here. And I think you can get one in this one. There's... I just saw this on 900 Red Yoshi's video yesterday, so I don't know why I don't remember, but... <laughs> yeah, one of them's a hard, two of them is one rupee, and one is five rupees. Probably not worth the time, but, you know, if you're just going strictly for rupees, well, it's five rupees, yeah, that's worth the time. 
And one other way that you can get five rupees, and I'm gonna have to stop here in like 10 seconds, so you can get five rupees by actually jumping across this right here. So probably in the next video I'll have 40 rupees. I already got 33 anyway. So I will see you next time on Let's Play Ocarina of Time. Thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye.